DJI have brought out today a new firmware for both the DJI RC2 and the DJI RC and also they've released a new fly app 1.13.0 uh, for your mobile phones so what does it bring us let's get straight in and have a look Hello, welcome once again to the channel. And uh, today, as I've just said, DJI have released uh, new firmware for these guys, the RC and the RC2, and also the Fly app on the mobile phones, Android and iOS. So what does it bring us? It brings us a couple of uh, new features, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. The quick transfer, that's been added. Uh, update the Fly app uh, independently now on the RCs rather than having to wait for a, a firmware update and also authorization of flight logs that's been spotted by a good friend of the channel Gavin HR uh, if you've not seen Gavin's channel before I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description brings out some pretty good content so let's get straight into the video and have a look exactly what's changed and what's the new features so starting with the RC firmware the DJI RC at 01031300 that's the latest firmware and as you can see it supports updated fly share for the fast file transfer directly from the remote control to your phone and it also supports independent app update without the need simultaneously updating remote control firmware which has got to be a good thing now for those of you that's using the RC this will be a little new to you this new user interface and you can see we've got the before you fly i'm not going to go into great detail with this one as you can see on a video i did earlier in another video i will leave a link up there so you can view it after this video should you need to so the quick transfer i think we're all uh, pretty much up to date with this one that's telling you that you can quick transfer your files from the drone to your mobile phone but you can see on the right hand side the fly share this is the new feature so you can transfer your screen recordings cache files and downloads from your remote controller to your phone pretty good idea i suppose how to use fly share select the files from the remote control album and then tap that little icon just there basically what it will do if you've got your phone on the, the dji fly up open and your controller open at the same time you can share between the two devices and you don't even have to have the drone on i think personally it's better if you just do the quick transfer but that's my personal opinion so as i said earlier in the future you will be able to update the fly app on these remote controllers independently and all you do is you go into the about section and you see where it says check for updates it's hidden away but then it tells you there that dj fly app is up to date and that's where you would update it if you want to update the fly app and not the firmware and finally the authorization of your flight logs to dji what you need to do here is click on your flights and that will instantly ask you for this flight record authorization if you click enable this will authorize dji to have access to all your flight records if you don't want this you click cancel what that does it brings you to your flight logs but if you look at the top you need to click that little X in the corner there, otherwise you might catch the authorized button. You don't want to be doing that. You can still access your flight logs just by canceling that and then selecting any one of your flight logs if you want to have a look at it in the future. My personal opinion is if you need to send one of these flight logs to DJI, I would just download it personally myself and then let them deal with it that way via email why would you want to give all your flight logs to dgi to have a look at who knows what hands they could be uh, <laughs> left in or sent to at the end of the day it's entirely up to you guys what you want to do if you want to authorize dgi to look at your logs by all means do it so there we go just a short video this evening bringing you the updates for you for the uh, rcs the rc and the rc2 
there's more and more controllers. And also not forgetting the um, phones as well, iOS and Android. So that's it in a nutshell, really. You've got a new fly up 1.13.0 and a couple of new features, as I've just explained. I've not done a test flight with it. Normally I'll go out and do a test flight with any new firmware updates and fly up updates, but I haven't done it so far. I'm intending to do a fly in the morning and just check it out. And if there's anything amiss, you can guarantee that I'll be coming back to you and letting you know all about it. Hope you got some use out of the video. If you have, don't forget, give us the old thumbs up. And if you're new around here, why don't you consider subscribing, dinging the dong and all the rest of it that goes with it. You know me by now. And you might like to watch those couple of videos over there that I've chosen for you. And if you do, I shall see you over there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.